Hey everyone, EBA420 here. Just got in a few of the iPod Touch 2Gs, so I figured I'd do a tutorial series now that the full jailbreak is out. And I'll probably give away a few of these at the end of the series too, so be on the lookout in the coming weeks. And if you want to win a new Nano now, check the link in my description, but hurry, the contest ends March 27th. And I'm going to go throw an invisible shield on this touch during the credits, and I'll be back to show you the jailbreak. And if you don't have an invisible shield for your iPod yet, the link's in the description. So I've spent the last couple of days trying various methods of the full jailbreak uh, for the iPod Touch 2G and believe this is the easiest and safest uh, so far. So uh, to begin, let's get all our files together and the links are in the description of the video as always. Uh, first is Quick Freedom. Uh, this is the actual jailbreak program and we need to download the latest version and uh, save it to your desktop and install this program. When installing, all the default settings are fine for this program. Uh, the only thing you want to do is at the very end after it's done installing, uh, uncheck the checkbox on the last screen that says uh, that tells the program to run after install because there are a few changes we need to make before we run it for the first time. Now let's get the firmware directly from Apple using the link provided and download that right to your desktop. Once that's done, right click on the Quick Freedom icon and select Properties. Choose the Compatibility tab and check the box for running compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. And also check the box at the bottom to run an as an administrator and then click apply when you're done and please note this only applies to Vista users XP users are fine as is once that's done go ahead and run quick freedom and then click OK on the pop-up and uh, then go ahead and click the jailbreak iPod icon and the first thing you need to do is click install lib USB uh, after that's done, it will show you a check mark that, and say installed to the left of the button. Uh, next, we need to point to the firmware we downloaded from Apple, which should be on your desktop. Once you do that, you should see a green check mark to the left of the button. And now at the bottom, it'll say uh, moving firmware. And then when it tells you to, go ahead and press next. Now you can choose whether or not to install Installer. Cydia will always be installed, but Installer is optional. Can't hurt to have it, so I always let it install. And as far as the boot logo, I like the factory Apple, so I'll leave that unchecked. Now click Create Firmware. And this will take about 10 minutes, so I'll edit most of it out for the video. And when it's done, the custom firmware will appear on your desktop. Click OK on the pop-up when it says it's done, and then go ahead and click Next. Now we are going to put your iPod in DFU mode. At this point your iPod should already be connected to your PC via USB. And now put your iPod in DFU mode by holding down the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds. Then release the power button, but keep the home button held in. In a few moments you'll notice drivers starting and or quick freedom reporting your iPod is in DFU mode. Uh, you can let go of the home button at this point. 
If iTunes opens, just get rid of the pop-up and minimize it. Now click the pre-jailbreak button. In a moment, you should notice the screen of your iPod turn white. Click OK on the pop-up from Quick Freedom and then go ahead and click Next. And now we are done with Quick Freedom so we can close the program. Now in iTunes, hold down the shift key on your keyboard while clicking on restore. This will bring up a file browser so you can point to the file on your desktop that we made called custom firmware. And go ahead and open that up. And now you can sit back and relax. This portion takes about 10 minutes. Uh, I'll edit most of it out for the video. Uh, but upon restart, your iPod is now fully jailbroken and you should see Cydia on the home screen if all was successful. Uh, iTunes will throw up a pop-up at the end asking if you want to submit info to Apple. Uh, I myself am going to choose no, and uh, that's all there is to it. And if you're watching this before March 27th, uh, don't forget to enter my iPod Nano contest. Uh, the link's in the description, and also, uh, if you want one, don't forget to get your invisible shield for your new iPod Touch or any of your other gadgets. Uh, I used it on a bunch of stuff from my phone to my iPod and even on one of my laptops, and they are absolutely awesome, so check them out. Links are all in the description. And more videos on the Touch are coming soon, so uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and thank you as always, and enjoy.